attention to this stuff. Uh, media icon, legend, mm-hmm. and this story's been going on, ongoing for a little while. Uh, Sherry Shepard uh, allegedly has been named the permanent guest host for the Wendy Williams show. Mm-hmm. Round of applause for Sherry Shepard. She's been amazing in that in that slot. Mm. And what we've seen with these guests filling Wendy's show is that anybody could step in there and do the format of this show. The format being hot topics, mm-hmm. internet buzzworthy topics, into guest, into whatever. Uh-huh. Right? But this is why this is so fascinating to me. We know or don't know whatever is going on with Wendy's health. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her and her family and team have been rather quiet. And normally the things we get come from network side. Mm -hmm. So when the network is announcing troubling things with a host, it's alarming. Especially a host that has been that successful at your network. And what network is this, Fox? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it bothers me as a creator because she's so accomplished and you can just get her right the fuck out of here and your fans won't, the fans don't know nothing. The fans watch these guest shows. But do you think- The ratings, they say, are up or comparable. Comparable. Still, we ain't heard from Wendy. All we know is that Wells Fargo is freezing accounts. Hmm citing that there's dementia or something funny going on so we don't want to relinquish your millions of dollars to you. This is a hit. Hit job is what I mean. This is an orchestrated hit. But what's nasty is, right, I watched my mom watch the Wendy Williams show. The guests. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ah, you motherfucker boy. Like, how could somebody ever get their show back if all of the fans have no problem just watching the guest the host. Guest speakers. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no allegiance. There's no... So then you watch it, there's a bunch of internet shit, it's supposed to be... Pre- I just think that this is an interesting story because maybe we've seen the last of Wendy Williams on her show, on her show. But let me ask you, though. If you're the... And sh- we don't know why. Go ahead. If you're the show, the show has to go on. What do you do? I you would want something... You would want someone that could... No, the nobody show doesn't feel- have to go on, which is why they're going to eventually change the name of the show. I was going to ask. They're going to change the name of the show, and it's going to be a new show, maybe similarly formatted, but this is going to be a new show. Okay. I and nobody's you- come out to tell us exactly what's going on. We just keep hearing bullshit about addiction and health. But that might be... Um, and it might be accurate. At her advantage. It's not their place to say. She might be telling them that. Yeah, but they didn't. She Again, ain't telling like, them that. They had odds. No, listen to what I'm saying. Wendy Williams, from what I know, mm-hmm. was on top of her business. Mm-hmm. So it's called the Wendy Williams Show. I'm sure she's still getting a check. I'm sure she still got all her contractual shit in place. Um, and they might, their hands might be tied. That might be why they beefing. Because she like, I'm not giving up nothing. All right, that's not what any of my eyes and ears tell me. I understand how that might be true. You get what I'm saying? But that don't tell me that. might be why the network is tight. They've been fighting for what seems like over a year. Mm -hmm. The guests have been here way longer than a guest type period Mm -hmm. would allow. Mm -hmm. You don't hear anything from either side, but Wendy's saying, yo, I'm with my family and my loved ones. And I'm surrounded by love and that's that. Anything Mm -hmm. else don't talk to me about. And all other negative shit is coming from somewhere else. That's the other thing that bothers me about this. Today, now more than ever, I see how easily publicist games are played. Like, because I know when a publicist says something to somebody and then it airs somewhere and then your mother or grandmother sees it and she on the phone at home and then she get to talking and then it just is a whirlwind of publicist bullshit spreading around like fact. And we don't know what's accurate and what's not. I just hate it. I hate it. I hate that it's going on with Wendy, somebody I fuck with. Jersey Jersey royalty, and I hope that she's well. And this has nothing to do with Sherry Shepard getting this gig. At all. Because I fuck with her too. All right, so this is what they're saying. But this is a clinic in how you could lose your own shit. This is what they're saying about the deal on the show. Who's that? Who's that? The network. Go. Well, sources. See? Um, 
The folks who produce the show will be monitoring Wendy's progress between now and September. If Wendy gets better, there's an open door for her to return. If, however, it appears she's unable to return, then they would change the name of the show as early as September. Couldn't talk to me like that. Network or no network. You could not talk to me like that. You're not going to monitor nothing with me. I'm either going to do it and we got a healthy working relationship or I'm not doing it. But you're not going to monitor me to see. She passed out on the show. Got it. You get what I'm saying? So we, I'm, I'm just giving pushback. Do you think, I'm do not you saying think, you're wrong. No, Let I understand what you're saying. Do you think we should get health reports from a TV network? Yes. That's my question. Yes. Oh, I don't. If, okay. No, no, no. I'm we don't to, have to whoa, get whoa, those whoa. reports. The I'm network themselves could get the report I'm about to say if you. they feel she's capable to come back. And I'm shocked you feel that way too, actually. If, if, if the individual whose show it is, is not pushing a story, a narrative or whatever, uh-huh. the network still goes on. Uh-huh. The network still goes on. So e- let me finish. So either they drop your show uh-huh. or they continue the show. But they have to tell something to investors, to add people, to everybody about what's going on with the host of the show. A narrative has to be given, whether good or bad. Some narrative has to be pushed out there to the media. And it sounds See, like that's they, just the part. And I don't sound, let me that push back, sound that bad. bad. Let me push back the why it don't sound bad? Somebody else that's not a doctor, not a relative, and not a loved one. That could speak, come from a doctor. Speak, but we don't know that but it does. Electing what I'm saying, not what to I'm give saying, her right, own narrative. Not, they're not saying that we're going to tell y'all what Wendy's going through. They're saying us as the network, we'll be whether it's we in contact with her doctor, whoever, we're going to be in contact to find out if she's able, ready to come back, can come back or not. If she can't, we have to make a decision. So basically, we're going to give you a No, you, you have year. to make a decision no matter what. Mm-hmm. And I still don't think it's a network or television or agency's place to report on lead talent's health, especially if that talent themselves is refusing to do so. They're not reporting. They're not saying nothing. What do you think you're saying by saying we're going to monitor her progress and her... Rep- and, and they have been they saying... They got to say yes, she passed out on the show. Do you know how many times at, in Hollywood and in television they don't share with us the narrative? That's all I'm saying to y'all. No, There's I mad agree. times where something is going not, on and we have no idea. Not a daytime she, talk show. Not why? a day-to-day talk she show. She is in, on indefinite leave. Mm-hmm. We will let y'all know when she returns. Mm-hmm. We don't have to get into her fucking health, her addiction, her personal shit. She already went through the divorce publicly. Publicly. The cheating, publicly. See, the, the handling of that. assets, publicly. It's all been one domino effect of shit, and I, I don't think much of it is stemming from her wanting to share it. This is somebody who's been famous for over 40 years and never gave nothing about her personal life. No, she gives everything about her personal life. Like what? I'm a cokehead. I was doing coke like crazy. I fucked this one. I fucked that one. She gave everything about her personal life. See, to me, that's, that's one of the things that they liked about her. See, to it's, me, that's not... You, Hold up. you speaking let me, let me about what you, you did in your past is not speaking. She ain't never went on there and said, I'm currently going through this. I'm currently yeah, she going did. through she this talked outside about of the, her divorce. She talked about the nigga Kevin cheating. She talked about mad shit. Yes, the she baby, did. Uh, the, the, yes, the she did. Something but, like that. Yeah. Yeah, she, she did. did. And, but back to that. When it was done. Back to that. <laughs> now, and I'm. this is not my stance, mm-hmm. but... You can't pick and choose now when you've trashed niggas for years. You've trashed niggas' personal lives. You've caused niggas to get divorces and all types of shit for years. How you get handled with care? Well, that's because you you never handled nobody else's personal life with care. No, that's kind of where I'm pushing back. I should get to decide that on something called the Wendy Williams Show that has seen this amount of success at this network, I should be handled with a little more care. That is exactly I'm, what I'm I'm not saying. disagreeing with you from the network's perspective, but TMZ ain't the network. The TMZ that's purporting this story that we're reading, that's not the network. Maybe Fox needs to we handle th- it with care, but if somebody else leaks some shit, it could be coming from a bunch of different places. Okay, well, I assume some of these details that nobody would know outside of network and Wendy mm-hmm. that are reported to media are coming from networks. Or, ne- or that's networks people. That's possible. What's networks that? people. Mm-hmm. It might not necessarily be the CEO of Fox. It could be a cameraman. It could be a bunch of motherfuckers selling stories about Wendy Williams or the show. Yo, she went to detox and know what somebody said? She's in detox. Like, she's been trying to do quite a few things to get herself together privately, and mm-hmm. somehow, miraculously, somebody finds it out. always ends up public. All I'm saying is, I don't think that's her doing, and I don't, oh, think, and I don't think that she agrees with how it's being done. But were the other families that you potentially wrecked, did they agree with how you were presenting your stories? 
You didn't give a fuck when it was wrecking their lives. My nigga, I remember she had flex on the radio. Snitching, like openly snitching, brought the girl up there that he was having an affair with his wife on the fucking radio show. You didn't give a fuck on how that was going to affect that man's life in his home. You didn't care. So now you got to reap what you sow. Yep. And again, this is no disrespect. This is just. This will be anybody. They yeah. Gotta do, uh-huh. Like fam. You so live what that you way. So. Nasty world we live in. Yeah, it is. That's, that's and no, but you make, and you fam, made that she bed, was though. one she of the make, nastiest she cooks. A she started a platform and it was successful. She started a flat platform based on gossiping and negativity about people's dirty laundry. That is when she started her platform way back in the 90s. It's, what I'm saying is. Yes, Joe. She didn't give a fuck about nobody's personal. I don't think that your platform should be the vehicle used in your demise. Like you don't get to choose that. What you saying is right. You don't get to choose that. Not the way this deal is set up. Because yes, you do get to choose that. We didn't see Talk Soup or whatever the fuck Joan Rivers show was get used to fucking kill her after her demise. What's the difference? And rest in peace to Joan Rivers. What is the difference? Joan Rivers might have had more friends that cared about her portrayal. Yo, I'm just telling you, I'm Wendy giving you an Williams example. Well, I, 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 I hope, hope she is well. I hope all, Wendy Williams also. is well. I hope Sherry Shepard does great. A lot of my friends have been guest hosting this show. Uh, Remy, Michael Rappaport, like the, all the guests are doing a great job. But this, how this is being handled is some fuck shit. In my, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. I agree with that. If it's coming from the network directly in a, in a, in a purposeful way to shit on this lady, I totally agree with that. What I'm saying, though, is the leaking of the news and all of that stuff. And this is why people keep their sicknesses and their ailments sure private. Mm-hmm. Sure indeed. And then when they pass, we say, oh, he was so strong. He kept it private. He kept it between his close circle. Like, people do that. It, it's for these reasons. Was, You're not just going to misuse my shit for your was, own readers, yeah. for ratings, or for a new host, or to She's keep the audience. Done that, She's done that, though. She's done that exact that same hers. Reason. No, Joe, she's done it to other people for it's 30 hers. years. When she was on Hot 97, that wasn't hers. When she was on Hot 97, that wasn't hers. BLS. She was on 97 first. Oh, I don't know nothing about it. Yeah, yes, you do. Her and Angie got in a fight and all that shit live on the radio. I don't remember. I was was living in Maryland. Niggas were calling me, telling me Wendy Williams T. Oh, Hot 97? Yeah. Google that. Like 97, 98. I was in college. No way. Bruh, she was talking about Mace and Puff and this and that. And this person is this. Was that Kiss? Huh? It was Hot 97? Wendy Williams, to my knowledge, has never Look, worked on her name. So. Yes, she yeah, did. Yes, she did. And just said it. Wendy her and Williams Angie had a fight on the radio. Yep, he's right. Let's just get it and read it. It's fine. <laughs> read the first sentence. Wendy Williams, I'm saying, left New York in 98. Then why well, I don't remember that. You were remember. on the radio back then, too. No, I was not. You was, I was on you the was radio early. in 03. <laughs> oh, yeah, later. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was 18 in oh, 1998. No, I'm saying, all right. But yeah, Angie bust in the studio. They had a fight live on the radio. Y'all got it. You get what I'm saying? And again... Angie was her co-worker, my nigga. Mm. You put your co-worker's business out on Front Street on the radio. You didn't give a fuck about how that affected them. You can't pick and choose. And again, I'm not saying she deserves any of this. That's exactly what you're saying. I'm not saying no. that. I'm that is saying, exactly what you're saying. not what I'm saying. No. Then what are you saying? I'm saying that you don't get to be shooting at somebody, and then when another nigga shoots back at you, you, you get, get to complain about it. Well, that's karma, and there's no argument there. That's what I'm saying. The only point of contention... I'm saying it, your own vehicle shouldn't be used to do so, and y'all are saying you don't have a say in that matter. Maybe that's not her vehicle. I'm saying like that. if your deal is organized a certain way, you have all the fucking say in that matter. You have all the say in that matter. They couldn't just they couldn't let Roseanne Barr's show just keep on and use it to shit on her. No, we had to dead the show. Roseanne's gone. I'm deading the show. But they wouldn't do it to Reese. They, they wouldn't do it to Reese. They though. wouldn't do it to nobody. They dead it. They diss her on the show. You are saying that somebody's secretly leaking information from the network. 1,000%. Which is possible. 1,000%. But they're not shitting on her on her own show. Okay, if I'm I'm battling health issues, I would hope that nobody is just using my shit publicly to fucking boost ratings or hold an audience there. Because that's disgusting. I agree with that. that Wendy's Wendy's going through something. She'll be back next week. Oh, she's not back next week. Next month, it's definitely happening. Oh, what next month? But in three months, we'll give you an update. I'm sure everything will be fine. She's going, she's doing what she got. Like, man, I can see through something. It's just transparent for me. It's transparent. And I think it's a nasty, fucking disgusting tactic. I'm not saying she don't deserve it. 
I'm not saying she didn't do it and karma comes around, goes around, comes around. All that's cool. But while people are battling health conditions, don't beat me down with what they did in their life. Oh, she was horrible. So what? No. Bro, you missing my point on purpose, too. Because I know I make sense on this one. Get the shit off. She didn't give a fuck when other niggas was going through personal life issues, Joe. So why do you expect for somebody to give you grace when you going through personal life issues? Maybe I'm off. I'm cool with that. I just think they synonymous. I think that it, it, you Yo, get what you give. Well, in this world, but your grace shouldn't be dictated on mine. True indeed. I agree with that. Unfortunately, that's, all that's I got. not how it works. That all ain't I got. how it works. That's all I got. What else we I got? I agree with you, but that ain't how it works. It's fine. What else we got? Uh, 